replace a key cork. First, I'm going to show you the tools that we need to use. First thing is a bottle of key oil, screwdriver, spring hook, razor knife, contact cement, the cork, a spring to hold the cork, a piece of sandpaper. The first thing that we're going to need to do is remove the key that we're going to be replacing the cork on. We're going to be removing this palm D right here. Once I have my key removed, I can go ahead and scrape off the old cork with my razor knife. Now that I've removed any old adhesive, I can go ahead and cut my cork. I'm going to use my razor knife, and I'm cutting a piece of cork that's just a little bit bigger than the area it's going to go. I can use my spring to hold on to it while I apply my glue. Again, I'm going to apply glue to the cork and also to the key itself. Give it about five or ten minutes to dry and then you can apply the cork. Once the glue on the key and the cork is dried, now you can apply. I'm going to use my razor knife to trim the cork now. Now that I have my cork trimmed to a basic shape, I can now go ahead and reattach my key. I'm going to make sure I use a little bit of key oil on the rod when I reassemble it. If you find that the key cork is too thick, you can use your sandpaper to thin it out. What I do is have the sandpaper side facing up, put it between the key cork and the body of the saxophone while I gently press the key down. Now I'm just going to gently pull the sandpaper out until I sand it to a desired thickness. There you go.